ready to pour. Just coming to you all. Just rising. Showing you. Before I cup it up. bags with the zipper and a grocery. I just want to show you all how to clean up today. See it's two watermelons down there. Most of the watermelon vines on top. Gone. Tomato plant still standing, but took a hit. Took a hit. Bell peppers. Some of them still holding on. But they got a bunch of wilted leaves on them. Oh, same here. The tomato plant took a very big hit. See all the leaves drooping down, nothing hanging up, so gotta go. Jamaican sorrel tree. Let me see what it is. Those that's out, the leaves will wilter. That's so that's that. But let's see. Let's see. Saved a lot of it. Some of it did get hit, but a lot of it did. And the reason why I did that is because I got too much to make and sew it on my tree. You see how that leaf was frostbitten? They don't like no cold. They do not like no cold. I see over there. That looks hit hard. Top of it. But hey. Still got my Jamaican sorrel on there. We did that. We saved that Jamaican sorrel. Okay, let's see what this ginger did. I have an aloe vera plant up under here. Okay, let's see. Oh, I forgot my pomegranates was up on here as well. Matter of fact, that ginger started growing more. And that ginger started growing more when I put that up under there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I didn't see four stalks off of that ginger. And I see a little a small one growing toward the end. Hmm. Never saw that. 
ginger, ginger. There's one coming up right here. Brand new. That one. But yeah. Y'all see what I did? I just set these plants all right here together. Hell, now I might as well just leave them together. Yep, yep, yep. It might be some ginger down here, but if it do come up, shit. I don't know where it's gonna come up, but I know it might be some ginger down here. But old to the wheel. And I see them ants uh, that made a home off in this one. That fast. They moved in. So. See that that's all right. Let's see how this tomato plant fared. See how it's still up? And I think it's because the frost don't get on the leaves. Because see where it does really get cold by the blanket, it turns it a little black, a little darker. But yeah, look, tomatoes still on that joint. Let's look at those tomatoes right there. Opposed to, let me get this up. Let me see these tomatoes. This plant has been hit. And you see how wilted, withered it is? Now, the tomatoes are dark green, so that means they got hit by the frost. You can see how the one side is light green, but then you look at it, it almost looks translucent on this side. The frost got to this, so these are not no good. But yeah, yeah. I see something now. A little more knowledge. If you if you just having a few nights of frost, I believe you could cover these these plants with some type of sheet, grow bag, or something. You know, and your pl your plants will be all right if it's an unexpected frost. You know, in the fall, I think that if you cover them and it's not gonna be a freeze like that. I believe that your plants will make it. If, if it's just a freeze for like two nights, you saw what happened to the other plant. And you see this plant. This plant is not covered, the other plant is covered. So, maybe that's what it is, maybe. But, that's what that is. some good eating for Thanksgiving, y'all. Y'all saw it like I just saw it. Yes, yes, yes. And as I showed you, these watermelon lines, don't. Don't. The ones on top are out of there. So, there we have it. This is what a false will do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what we learned today that if it just freezes for like two or three nights in the fall we may be able to get away with covering our plants with a frost cloth or a sheet or something because you know I had a sheet on that one and you saw what it did now I'll say again here's another tomato plant the tomatoes look translucent, so that means, and then they come off the vine real easy, which means this plant is no good. They just break off the vine. All these tomatoes, y'all see all those tomatoes. You see them. All those cherry tomatoes. And it's, it's thousands of cherry tomatoes on here. I'm looking. Look down there. All those cherry tomatoes gone bad.
So yeah, it is what it is. And now we know what's going on. Look at this brat, this uh, cauliflower. I guess he took a hit the other night and started growing a curve. And now he want to grow that way, which I want. I need him to grow straight up. But now look at it. Now he coming to the side. Then he gonna start with this, and then he gonna go straight up. I need you to grow up, man. Ain't that nothing? Probably could put a stick in there and stake him up some to help him. Cause once the sunlight get to him, this top will curve up the way it's supposed to. So yeah, yeah. Cause I need you growing straight up, big guy. But yeah, look how uh. Shining the greens the leaf collar so mm hmm mm hmm You see the greasy leaves? Now I'm gonna show you one that's not greasy. Those greasy. Those greasy. See how dull that is? See the bugs been uh working on my plant, so I gotta get out here and spray them a little bit. Yeah, but they've been working. That's all right. If they don't wanna eat it, yeah, you don't wanna eat it. So it's all good. It's all good. And yes, the ones with them holes in them don't get eaten too. Yes, yes. Act like you don't know. You could tell it was a frost out here. Look at this grass. I don't know if y'all can see how black that grass is. Can y'all see what parts of this grass it looks black? See this up here looks green. This right in here looks black. Black. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, the kale still coming up. Those sweet potatoes died back. Smell like some greasy leaves right there. Mixed in with some old kale. Kale. I see another little kale. 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 I see some few kales over there. Hmm. Mm hmm. I see a piece of basil off in here. I see another greasy leaf. Yeah, yeah. Some of everything coming up right here. Yeah. So that's what we have it, y'all. The frost. Now I got to get out here and pull up a lot of them pepper plants back there. Because I wanted to uh, clean up the garden. I know, and those watermelon vine. So, yeah, that's what I'll be doing today. You great folks have a good one. And I'll see y'all in the streets, all right? Take care of yourself. Respect yourself and others around you.